On the phone with me on Cool 101.7 this morning is Teresa Caputo, the Long Island medium. Good morning. Hey, good morning. <laughs> How, How are, are you? You? <laughs> uh, you owe me a Coke. Jinx. We, I- <laughs> <laughs> we said it at the same time. <laughs> That's amazing. I'll, how about you owe me a Dr. Pepper? That's my favorite. Oh, all right. <laughs> I, I I lived down south for a while, and just about everybody drinks that down there, and I can't stand the stuff. Oh, you're kidding. No. Oh, my God. Yeah, I stuck out like a sore thumb. Besides having a northern accent, I just stuck out like crazy because I wouldn't drink the stuff. Oh, my God. That's so funny. <laughs> all right. Well, since we only have a, a, I'm good. Uh, where are you good. calling from? Are you calling from New York? Yeah, I'm calling from New York. I'm in my house right now. All right. Sometimes, you know, yeah. you're in a studio, or uh, since you're doing this tour, I thought maybe you were somewhere else. No, we're actually um, wrapping up. We're wrapping up Long Island Medium today. Okay. Um, and then um, I go on tour next week. So I literally go, people don't realize it, I go from straight from shooting Long Island Medium, and when we're down, I go on the road. And then as soon as we come back, we're going to be shooting again. So... So it's never just stop. it's just like shooting a sitcom then, or or you know something like that. I guess yeah. I I don't know. This is my first experience of being involved in television. I have no idea how it works. <laughs> the only thing I know is that I have the most amazing crew that allow me to share my gifts the, the 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 most authentic way, and allow me to be me and to be able to heal, you know, people's hearts and souls one week at a time. So. It's a very interesting show. Yeah, I, I love watching it. So, I mean, I'm, I'm calling you not only as uh, an interview for your show coming here to the Emsoil Arena in Duluth, but, but also as a fan. That's amazing. I appreciate that very much. Uh, so uh, let's talk about you a little bit. Uh, there are a lot of people, whenever I have somebody that does what you do on the radio, they always ask, you know, how did you know, when did you know in your life that you had this gift? I didn't know um, until I was the age 28. Okay. I actually, from the very young age of four, though, I would always say to my mom, I don't feel right. I don't feel like I belong. I feel different than everyone else. And my mom used to say, you know, no, you're, you're fine. You know, you're not adopted. There's no reason why you should <laughs> feel that way. Uh-huh. You know, and for, but for me, I was sensing and feeling these things that nobody else was. And I'm just so blessed and thankful that my parents just allowed me just to express whatever it was. Nobody ever made a big deal about it. Yeah, because who would and, think to do that with a child, you know, look more into it and see why they're not feeling well? Yeah, or, or, well, well, because I would just say things like, I, oh, I saw this woman standing at the end of my bed. And my, my parents, are, I come from a very strong faith Catholic family. Mm-hmm. I am a practicing Catholic um, and a very spiritual family. So... You know, it was always easy for me to express what I was feeling, and no one ever made a big deal about it. And then at the age of 28 is when I found out that what was causing a lot of my anxiety was fear trying to communicate with me because I was blocking them. You know, it's harder for me to ignore a soul than it is. It's just easier for me to talk to them and just say whatever it is that they want me to say, and then they go away. You so, know? So um, that's what I learned at the age of 28. So now, uh, being that you are faith-based in what you do, what do you think of all these paranormal shows and, and ghost hunting shows that are on the air? Well, I really don't watch um, a lot of paranormal things. But there's um, kind of a resurgence going on now. People are starting to pay more attention to that. Well, I think that there are a lot of things that do go on that are unexplainable, that, that is spirit. Um, but a lot of times I don't feel that a lot. I, I think there are a lot of places that might not be of good intent, Mm -hmm. but I think a lot of times what people experience, because people ask me all the time to go do house cleansing. Can you come clear my house? There's somebody in my house. And then I end up going there, and I find out that it's their father or it's their grandmother. And (laughs) I think that what happens is sometimes when we sense and feel things that we don't know how to understand. Okay. We don't know what to believe sometimes, and then it becomes scary, you know? So... So, so you were me, talking about when you it's harder for you to ignore the spirits. Do you find that some days are too much, that w- what you do, you d- there's too much of a call on you? Um, I, I, honestly, I honestly don't feel that way. Uh-huh. Um, you know, I feel, actually, when I channel spirit, I feel more energized. Because, mm-hmm. um, like I said, it takes more work for me to block it. Right. But my job, I, just, I say this to people all the time. I am just Teresa Caputo from Hicksville. 
who talks to dead people. It's the same thing with your job. Aren't some days you're tired, like you don't feel like talking to someone, right? Right. Or you just want to go home and you just want to, like, take a nap or just, you know, watch Judge Judy in the afternoon, right? I'm right. just like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking to <laughs> Teresa Caputo. She's uh, part of the show coming to the Amsoil Arena October 20th uh, at 730. To cre- Teresa Caputo Live, the experience, uh, also known as the Long Island Medium. Uh, what can people expect uh, when they come to the show? Should they bring anything? No, they just they just have to bring themselves. Sometimes you don't even have, you know how many times Spirit has had me get someone on a phone that was supposed to be there and they didn't come? Uh-huh. And they'll, they'll be like, you get them on the phone. So, you know, you don't have to bring anything. You know, you're bringing, when you go places, you're bringing your loved ones with you. You know, it's an incredible experience. Um, it's, an, it's, it's a life-changing experience. And it'll be a night full of levity and love. There's a lot of people that have said to me, oh, I don't know if I want to go because it might be embarrassing. And I say, no, it's not. No. Spirit will never. That is not the intent here. My goal of what I do, and especially with the live experience, and that's why it's so special, because you're witnessing what's happening to other people. It's not embarrassing at all. It's, it's a healing experience. And my wish for everyone is when they leave that arena that they know that their loved ones are with them. And that what they are experiencing, all those little things that are odd, weird, different, a coincidence, to embrace that as signs and symbols from their loved ones. What surprises and you know about these shows? That they are with them, and that's it. I'm sorry. What what surprises you about uh, doing these shows when when you go? There's got to be some things that surprise you when you get there. It's the crap that spirit has me say. <laughs> it's the stuff that comes out. And I'm like, how do I know that? It's like. It's- it's, it's, I mean, I sit back and I'm like, this has to be insane. Because you know what happens? Spirit will also communicate with that personality. Because I feel that's the true validation for spirit. For them to use my physical body to say things the way that they would say things, uh-huh. to act or describe what they would do. Because, look, I'm the first one in line to say what I do is crazy. Uh-huh. And it's hard <laughs> to believe or to understand that, especially if you lose someone in a tragedy, right? Right. But... There are so many things that Spirit has me say that are not common, that you sit back and you're like, I don't know what just happened. I don't know if I believe in mediums, but all I know is that what she said, nobody else would know about. And it had to have been my loved one. And that's what Spirit will prove. And that's what to expect, it basically sounds like. Yes. Teresa Caputo is on the phone with us. She'll be here October 20th at the Amsoil Arena. Uh, Teresa Caputo live, the experience, and also part of the Long Island Medium. Thank you so much for uh, spending time with us this morning. I really appreciate it, and it, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Like I said, uh, part of me is a fan. Thank you so much. Well, I hope you come to the experience so I can meet you. I would love to be there, and uh, I believe that I have the night open, so I'm going to say uh, pencil me in. Perfect. Love to put the, uh, a face to the voice. Yeah, sometimes you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Have an awesome day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye.